Hello and welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. In this video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the oyster catcher. If you have visited the wetlands or coastlands of Europe, you may have been lucky enough to spot the striking markings of an oyster catcher. They have black heads, backs, wings and tails, with contrasting white feathers running along their undersides and up to their shoulders. In flight, they show a white rump and a white stripe running along each wing. Alongside this, they also have bright orange bills, red eyes and pink legs. Oyster catchers weigh from 380 to 520 grams and have wingspans of 72 to 83 centimeters. Outside of the breeding season, most of them have a white chin strap. The oyster catcher's name is a bit misleading as they only very rarely eat oysters. Their main diet includes cockles and mussels such as this one here which the bird is expertly hammering open but they can also use their beaks as probes to collect worms from soft soil and mud and invertebrates and crustaceans from on and below the water's surface. Historically, oyster catchers were almost always seen along coastal estuaries and shorelines and this is where they are still most common during the winter. But over the past 50 years or so, some of them have been moving noticeably inland for nesting. They are resident in the UK and along the western shores of Europe, but there is also a migratory population that breeds in northern Europe, western Russia and eastern Asia, and these birds head south in the colder months and spend their winters along southern European, Asian and African coastlines. Nesting for oyster catchers begins in early March, when established pairs return to their breeding territories and single birds that are at least three years old attempt to attract mates using a noisy head down display. After pairing, each pair creates a scraped nest that is on the ground and well camouflaged. It usually includes only a small amount of material around its edges and can be on a shingle beach, among farmland, on lake islands and I have even seen them nesting on the gravel covered roofs of some large buildings. Each pair will lay between one and four mottled eggs that are olive in colour and measure about five and a half centimetres long. Both adults incubate the eggs and after 24 to 27 days, the chicks hatch out. These are precocial and can see, stand, walk and even run just a few hours after hatching. At first, they are covered in a layer of mottled down. They lack the long orange bills and blend in well with their surroundings. Unlike most other wading birds, the chicks do not feed themselves straight away, with both parents providing most of their food for the first few weeks. As the chicks grow, they gradually molt to have similar markings to their parents, and at around 30 days old, they are able to fly and have the beginnings of the characteristic long bill. Young birds stay with their parents throughout the summer whilst learning how to find enough food for themselves. In the autumn, they move away from their nesting territories, often joining large flocks, and it's around this time that the young birds will finally be independent. Oyster catchers only raise one clutch of chicks in a year, and they are thought to be monogamous if they are successful at raising chicks and will return to their chosen nesting area year after year. One pair is accorded return to the same site for 20 years in a row. Over the past 25 years, oyster catcher numbers have dipped by 22% in the UK, which has been attributed to several factors, including higher levels of predators, disturbance from people and pets, and changes of land use in wetland areas. Whilst researching for this video, I found out that until the 1700s, oyster catchers were known as sea pies, and I wanted to include that in this video, but I didn't know where, so here you go. They have an average lifespan of around 12 years, with the oldest ringed wild bird surviving for 40 years, one month, and two days. Here, 
is an example of an oyster catcher's call. And that's all. Now if you'd like to know more about some other wading birds, why not discover things you need to know about the lapwing, which is on, in this video on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.